Welcome back to Frank's Favorite Food, where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. Today I'm making chicken with creamy pesto sauce. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do that now. Hit that notifications bell and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. You don't have to make your own pesto. Freshly made pesto is easy enough to find. I would, however, stay away from the stuff that sits unrefrigerated on your grocer shelf. Start with one cup firmly packed fresh basil. Add two thirds of a cup of chopped walnuts, three quarters of a cup of Parmesan, and two large cloves of garlic. A half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Three fourths cup of extra virgin olive oil, which I would normally add gradually, but sometimes that blender likes to spit at me if I have the lid off. Cover and refrigerate. Cut the broccoli into small, uniform, bite-sized pieces. I'm slicing up a half cup each, yellow onion, and red bell pepper. Once you're done with the peppers and onions, cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces. Now that I've got all these ingredients prepped, I'm going to cook them separately. There's a couple different reasons for doing this. Some vegetables, if cooked within a sauce, will release liquid into the sauce, making it watery. We're going to cook the peppers, onions, and broccoli perfectly, and then add them to the sauce later on. I've added a little olive oil and salt to the pan so that I can saute the broccoli. I'm going to add a little water to the pan to expedite the cooking process. Just before the broccoli reaches optimal tenderness, I'm going to remove it from the pan. I'm going to add a couple more teaspoons of olive oil to the pan so that I can saute the peppers and onions. Once they're done, set them aside with the broccoli. Now let's saute the chicken. I'm going to add a little bit of extra butter to the pan just to keep it from sticking. Once your chicken is browned, go ahead and add a half cup of heavy cream. Once you've reduced the cream by about half, go ahead and return the peppers, onions, broccoli, and pesto to the pan. I'm going to use about two heaping tablespoons of pesto sauce. Warm up the contents of your pan and then add your al dente pasta. Once the pasta is thoroughly coated with the sauce, the next thing to do is plate it up. Sprinkle with a little parm, and that's the dish. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my channel. If you haven't subscribed, you should do that right now. Hit the notifications bell, that way you won't miss anything. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. That helps to grow my channel. If there's something you'd like to see me make, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next video.